Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Odometer, and I just wanted to show you something here today. You can hear in the background this awful noise right here. So at the end here, I'll be comparing what a good engine sounds like and what it sounds like with this noise. So first off, what exactly is this noise? I was thinking it was the camshafts not being lubricated. Well, this is a V6 engine, and they have the driver side and the passenger side valve covers. And it was the noise was only coming from the driver side valve cover. So I wasn't really sure exactly what it was. I was going to have it checked out professionally, but then I started talking with a friend, and he looked at it, and he put his hand on the middle spark plug ignition coil, and the sound went away. And he was saying that the spark plug can possibly back itself out, especially on older vehicles. So I decided to check myself, and I figured, you know, if the spark plug started backing out, I could probably just untighten this by hand. So that's what I did. I was actually able to untighten it uh, just by hand without using any wrench to unloosen it. Well, that was definitely our problem. When he was pressing on the ignition coil, the sound would actually go away. So I imagine it was just exhaust coming back out, uh, even if it was a small amount, coming out of the spark plug hole. And he was telling me a story that there's actually been some vehicles where the spark plugs have actually shot out into the hood. But thankfully, we didn't get to that point. We get our 5 8 socket right here and we check our spark plug out just to check the gap and you can see that the gap is pretty extensive off camera here I think I measured it and it was about 0.06 or 0.07 where a normal spark plug would be 0.04 we're definitely gonna have to change these spark plugs here in the near future and I will definitely be recording that as I was tightening in the new spark plug I was noticing that the extender and the ratchet wasn't getting a good angle as I was installing the spark plug so it's possible that I could have cross threaded it if I wasn't holding the ratchet straight up and down so in order to help with that I had to remove this throttle body cable bracket it basically just holds the throttle cable I just tucked it away and then I went ahead and got my torque wrench set it to 13 foot pounds and installed the socket but first, before I attached the torque wrench, I tightened it by hand just so there wasn't any cross threading and I, was, I knew that I wasn't forcing the spark plug to go into the hole when it wasn't ready. Once I tightened the spark plug up by hand so I wasn't cross threading, I put the torque wrench on and finished it up the tightening and heard the click. Then we put our ignition coil back in and I think I checked the other spark plug ignition coils and everything was good and tight with those. Then I reinstalled my bracket to make sure my throttle cable was okay and we started back up. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just glad that I was able to get that fixed for basically nothing. If you have a very similar experience where you had a problem, where you thought it was going to be very expensive, and it turned out that it wasn't too expensive, head down to the comments and I'd like to hear about it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.